Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about the top five best leveling builds for PvE in Diablo 4. Of course, we're going to take the best leveling build for each class, and we're going to rank them in this tier list. So the first one is going to be a very obvious one, so let's start it off with what everyone should know as the best leveling build at this point in time. It's going to be Twisted Blades. Twisted Blades is a for sure S tier build, and I wanted to start it off with the most obvious because the other ones are not as obvious now. After playing in the server slam, playing in the closed and open betas, you've seen a lot of big changes. With updates coming for this release of Diablo 4, I want to give you guys the best way to level the quickest with your specific class. So Twisted Blades for Rogue is definitely going to be the fastest. So the Twisting Blades is the backbone of this build, of course, providing significant AoE damage for a moderate cost. The cooldown reduction provided by Twisting Blades will allow you to spam concealment for stealth, guaranteed crit, and of course, energy regeneration. Overall, its strengths are all about the high damage output, excellent mobility, and evasion capabilities. Remember, you're playing Rogue, you're going to have Dash, you're going to have Shadow Step, you're going to be all over the map very, very quickly, and that's another reason Rogue is just unmatched when it comes to quick leveling. Also, stealth mechanics for strategic gameplay, and you can specialize in either ranged or melee combat, so if you're having struggles in one, you can obviously change this build, the Twisting Blades build, into a ranged build combat, and that's going to help you in certain scenarios. But Twisting Blade altogether is going to be the primary build you're going to want to take with the Rogue if you are looking to level very quickly. So next up, of course, we do have a tornado build tornado build is going to be one of those that is going to be in the b tier it's unfortunate that the tornado build is right now the quickest build for the druid right now druid has a rough showing in the early game but use this build to level as quickly as you can with the class maximize storm strike to regenerate spirit apply vulnerability and get a damage reduction of 25 percent for three seconds Tornado Will is another go-to core skill. Although it doesn't level as fast as other classes, the Druid does have a lot of unique things like shape-shifting abilities, strong nature-based spells and summoning abilities, solid balance of damage, survivability, and crowd control, and it can adapt to various combat situations. However, be ready to deal with frequent switching between forms for optimal play, can be complex to master all aspects of the class, and rely on cooldown management for seamless shape-shifting. This is all definitely something you guys should be aware of as a druid if you want to maximize your leveling speed. So remember guys, we are only going to have five builds that we're talking about in today's video for the leveling guide based on your class. And SAB is probably going to be all that's used today. We're probably not going to use CDF. We will be using those in other tier list videos. But for the sake of only having five builds, I've actually realized that we're probably going to be remaining in the SAB columns because these are the top of the class. If we are going for all of the builds, there's a lot of builds that would be in the F tier for leveling, but not many in the top. So let's take a look at the next in line. It's going to be upheaval, of course, for the Barbarian. This Barbarian build focuses on high burst damage while remaining mobile and able to quickly move from target to target with lunging strike and upheaval. And because of that, you are going to have some mobility that makes this into the A tier column for me. The Furious Upheaval Rune makes your next upheaval do bonus damage while you charge, leap, and lunge your way around the map before bursting mobs down with a single upheaval with plenty of battle cries along the way. So you can actually use this build if you're looking for a gap closer, melee abilities, of course, high survivability due to health regeneration and resistances, big burst damage, and access to a wide range of weapons. But remember, there is no ranged combat options, really. It's limited at the very least. You can also struggle against magic-based enemies, and it is reliant on gear for optimal performance. So in the beginning of the game, if you don't get a weapon that is going to help boost your damage, you will struggle on some of the beginning bosses. But if you do get a good weapon drop, this build is actually very, very good, and that's why we have it in the A tier. It's not going to be something that is lackluster for leveling, that's for sure. So do remember, this is the third build of today's video. We have two more builds to take a look at, one for the Necromancer and, of course, the Sorceress. So next up, we do have the Blood Surge. Blood Surge is a great build that a lot of people are using for the Necromancer. The Blood Surge Necromancer is one of the best early game builds in Diablo 4, so it's definitely a contender 
if you're looking to level quickly. So one thing I definitely want to say is this is an S tier build and there's no doubt about it when it comes to leveling you're going to level very quickly with this one and uh, one thing I also want to say is if you're using the blood surge skill as the core skill you can actually explode any extra corpses we get with corpse explosion and rely on minions that are incredibly overpowered early game. I will say minions can die sometimes in the early game stages still but for the most part, you're not going to have that problem depending on what world tier you're playing on and what you're going and fighting up against. But the Necromancer, like I said, has some major pros. Strong minion summoning capabilities, big base damage early game, versatile playstyle options, pets, ranged, or even melee, ability to use corpses for extra damage, and to resummon your pets. But there are some cons. Of course, minion AI can sometimes be problematic, and now that minions can die, that is definitely a problem. And of course, low mobility. However, because of the amount of damage they do, and because of how quickly you can run through some of the content, it does remain in S tier, even without the mobility. I do want to jump into our last build. That is going to be the Lightning Sorceress. So Lightning Source is another one that should belong in the S tier, and for me, it's actually going to pass through the Blood Surge build. It's because Lightning Sorceress has a lot that Blood Surge build just doesn't have. If we actually take a look here at the Lightning Sorceress build and why it's an S tier, I want to say this build pushes through content quickly with a Sorceress Lightning-based abilities, and it utilizes Crackling Energy to do a large AoE burst while keeping up primary resources or mana. Um, its execution is rather simple due to how easily Chain Lightning works, and you're usually able to deliver large bursts of damage while also hitting most units on the field. In terms of the upside of this build, the powerful elemental magic abilities has high area of effect damage potential and can control the battlefield with crowd control spells. It also has access to teleportation skills for mobility early on. Another reason why this build does beat out the Necromancer's blood build when it comes to leveling and then it also has some downsides, of course, and that's going to be relatively low survivability early game, can be mana intensive, so requiring some resource management, and you may struggle in close quarters combat. So that is going to be a tier list of the top five leveling builds in Diablo 4. We're going to actually continue to make tier lists like this if you guys did like today's video, just kind of talking over some of the builds and making sure you realize what builds you should be looking out for, depending on what you are looking to do. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys all in the next one.